Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews out there on YouTube. As always, if you like the videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification next to it so you know every time I'm uploading a new video and every time I'm starting a new live stream. Um, before we get into the review, I just want to say we just hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. I did a quick live stream a few days ago to kind of have a little quick drink with everybody and say thank you very much to all of you who've been watching the channel and supporting me over the last year. We also recently, just a couple weeks ago, hit the channel's one year anniversary. And so I'm very, very excited to be kind of hitting these milestones with you guys. And I very, very much appreciate everything you guys have done to support me by thumbs up, you know, hitting the thumbs up button, leaving comments, watching the videos. So thank you all very much. I very, very much appreciate your support. And I hope to bring you a ton more content in the coming year. So if you didn't have a chance to check out that live stream, um, I'll link it up here if you want to check it out. It was just a quick one. I wanted to have a drink and say thank you and talk about a couple of things that are coming up on the channel. And also give you guys a little bit of insight into a couple couple uh, behind the scenes things that have happened with the channel. So anyways, if you have a few minutes, I think it runs about 15 minutes or less on that live stream. Check it out. Um, I appreciate all you guys very much and I hopefully uh, you guys have been enjoying what I've been doing over the last year. Um, so <clears throat> the today we're going to be reviewing a very special bottle for you because if any of you notice, if you go to my page, Blind Whiskey Reviews, and you look at the top, I have a banner of a bunch of whiskeys sitting on the fireplace behind me. And those was, I took that picture before I started this channel. Before I ever uploaded my first review, that, I took that photo. And in that photo, you will see this bottle of Eagle Rare. So I've had this bottle waiting to be reviewed for over a year, and it finally got its number pulled. So I am very excited to bring you this review. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump back in time and get to that review. All right, everybody, let's get into the whiskey. For the color on this one, we have a kind of a lighter amber color. Um, got some decent alcohol legs on here. Sticking to the glass pretty well. Just give you guys this. All right, on the nose. I mean, the first thing I'm smelling as I approach the glass is like big red, like a red juicy apple. There's definitely some berry notes back there as well. Like a nice, like a red raspberry note. There's some cherry. Definitely a touch of vanilla. But I'd say that predominant nose, there's just that big red apple smell. It smells really good. Let us get into the taste. Cheers. Okay, that red apple definitely comes across kind of mid-palate, very strong. It's followed up as it goes to the back of your palate by maybe a little, little caramel sweetness, a little cinnamon. Hmm, let's get another taste here. Yeah, that was berries definitely come through across the back. A little bit of cinnamon, touch of spice, not very much. Kind of mainly dominated by like these sweet fruits and, and a little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla. As you're sitting here with it on your palate, finish is medium, maybe medium to the long side of medium. Um, definitely sitting here developing, getting some more flavors going. Proof wise, I'm not feeling like it's very high proof. I mean, maybe we're. 90-ish, um, 
We'll get another couple sips in here and kind of narrow that one down. But so far, I'm liking the flavors. Not incredibly complex, but very smooth, very drinkable. So far, a very nice whiskey. Yeah, a little bit more of the same. I'd say that big red apple's kind of laid back just a little bit. A little bit more spices come forward. But definitely after it's gone across your palate, you're just kind of left with this nice fruity berry-like character, which I enjoy. Um, again, I don't think this is anywhere over 90 proof, or at least not much. May even be under, maybe like 85 to 90 proof. Feels relatively not thin on the palate. I mean, the lighter side of medium in terms of mouthfeel, not very thick or viscous going across the palate. I'm gonna stick with 90 proof. I feel it's right about that 90 range. Flavors are decent. Um, like I said, I wish maybe I could use a little bit more depth and a few more flavors. You know, I could maybe use a little bit more of that spice or. Um, a few more flavor notes in the sweet area, you know, more caramel, more brown sugar, more vanilla. Those don't come across too much on the palate. It's really dominated by fruity characters and just a hint of spice, which is good. And it's perfectly drinkable. Um, very, very tasty whiskey. Good, um, reasonable amount of complexity, but I could definitely use more if I'm being nitpicky here. Um, let's throw a couple drops of water in it just to see if that helps us coax anything else out of it. That should be good. Nope, didn't change much on the nose. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't really do anything on the palate. Thinned it out just a touch on the palate. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be adding water to this. I didn't think it was high enough proof to begin with to be, to be adding water. And it didn't help change or develop the flavors very much. So for me, it was better neat. And so uh, I'm a little torn on this one. For a rating, I think it is perfectly good drinkable whiskey. I'd be happy to sit there and sip on this neat. Although, like I said, it's just not a mind blower. It's nothing that you, you know, I'm going to be uh, raving about to my friends. But it's definitely good whiskey. Um, I'm going to be happy to drink this and finish this bottle off at some point. So I'm going to give this a rating of a an 80... An 80... I'm still getting like a lingering... <laughs> to catch to cut you off in the middle of the 80. Yeah, I'm still getting that, that big red apple kind of character. And you know, the the distiller that gives me that character the most generally is Buffalo Trace. So I don't know if this is a Buffalo Trace product, but that red apple to me, a lot of their products have. But anyways, I'm gonna give this an 80. Two. I think it's very good whiskey. Um, I wish it was a little bit higher proof. And I wish I had a little bit more complexity, but very good, very drinkable. Let's see what it is. This is, ha, we nailed the distillery. This is Eagle Rare. Awesome. I'm glad we finally got to this one. I've had this bottle for a very long time, and I'm glad we finally got to the review. So, let me go grab that bottle, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, we just finished our review of the Eagle Rare Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey bottled at 45% alcohol by volume. So, as many of you know, Eagle Rare still carries a 10-year-old age statement. And I would say this is one whiskey that in the past, and I haven't had this whiskey in quite a while actually, 
but I'm mean, even now I don't really feel like the oak of the 10 year old whiskey here comes across it doesn't come across as very old um, it's got a lot of good flavor um, but it just doesn't come across like it has a lot of the age that it does on it um, I just don't it's just one of those whiskeys I don't feel like at least at this point in time maybe after a little bit of air time that'll kind of come forward a little bit more but as of a freshly opened bottle it's got a lot of fruity character going to it. Some berries, some apples, some, you know, those, a lot of rich fruit characters. And the age of it, the 10 years, just doesn't come across. So, again, maybe that's something that will develop with a little bit of air time. Um, I can't remember in the past. I just don't, I don't think I ever recall thinking Eagle Rare came across as very oaky. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I do enjoy the flavors that are there. I will say that at this point, I do feel like it came across just a touch thin. Um, I could use a little bit more flavor. Like if this was a bottled and bond, like say this was a kind of following the stats of Henry McKenna, I think it would be amazing. So um, I could use a little bit more proof, a little bit more um, boldness in the flavors. But other than that, I love the flavors that are there. I love those deep fruity characters. I love that big red juicy apple. And I was glad I was able to kind of figure out, I felt like this was a Buffalo Trace product, which I think I, I threw in there right at the end of the review. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I love a lot of the Buffalo Trace products, and this is no exception. It's a very good, very easy drinking whiskey. Um, and for the price, I think it's a great whiskey to always have in your bar and to um, <clears throat> enjoy. You don't, this isn't a whiskey you necessarily have to think about. It's just got some great flavors. The stats add up. You got 10 years. You got 90 proof. You got a great distillery behind it, and it's at a, you know, about a $30 price point. So with all those things added up, you cannot go wrong with this whiskey. So um, it's a big recommend for me, two thumbs up, whatever you need. This is a good whiskey. Go out there and try it if you haven't already. I mean, this is a whiskey that's been around for a very, very long time. Um, one quick thing to talk about is Eagle Rare used to be, and it used to say it on the bottle, it used to be a single barrel product. And <clears throat> I believe they no longer can technically... Not that there's a technical definition to single barrels, but I think in trying to be honest, Buffalo Trace has taken away the single barrel um, statement on the bottle because I guess at this point they don't, uh, to my understanding, they don't clean the lines or they don't clean the equipment that they use to process each barrel in between barrels. So you can get some lingering um, whiskey mixing, just a little bit of whiskey mixing from one barrel to the next. So they technically really it's it's pretty darn close you know it's 99.9% .9 single barrel still but there could possibly be a little bit of whiskey mixed in from another batch so essentially this is still nearly a single barrel product with a 10 year age statement at barrel bottled at 90 proof so and at a $30 price point again you're not going wrong with this whiskey so anyways <clears throat> let me know what you guys think about Eagle Rare in the comments down below I think it's a great whiskey I hope you think the same because it's a good one. And at the price point, hopefully the age statement sticks around and then it's not something that's going away in the near future. Um, it did used to be on the front of the bottle. Now it is back here on the back of the bottle. So that's never a good sign for an age statement. As anybody may have known from Elijah Craig, they moved it to the back and eventually got rid of it. But hopefully they don't because I love this whiskey as is. It's fantastic for the price and for what you get. So again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blindwhiskeyreviews at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers.